Congratulations! What? You are one of our heroes of hope. <laughs> you, are the you have been nominated as a hero of hope for October. Thank you. Congratulations! Right before in the past week was I just had my 55th birthday and I had a wonderful all week long celebration. My students, because every day is a challenge and I like challenges, it makes me a better person, it makes me grow and learn. They teach me, I teach them, but they also teach me. Something that makes me happy is um, having lots of support for friends and um, family and going to the beach. It's my happy place. My students. <laughs> I took a course for um, Art for the Exceptional and I saw a video with students with disabilities in the video and I immediately just went to my advisor and said I need to know about these guys, these kids. And she goes, well you need to go straight into grad school then. So I didn't student teach my spring semester. I took ed courses that I needed to get into grad school and I never looked back. I went and got my master's in special ed, and I've been doing it ever since for 31 years. My son, he also has challenges. He also has autism and ADHD, and so I, that's how I changed from an accountant to a teacher. I always kept it fresh and always tried new things. I've done everything from severe and profound to autism to collab in the middle school. I've, I've done a lot of different things. Um, so that has always kept it a real uh, fun challenge for me to adapt and grow and learn to understand what these children need to be successful. So I've always kind of kept it, kept it moving and not gotten stagnant in what I've done. This will be my 13th year teaching, I believe, and I was an assistant for a few years prior to that. It keeps me going. I love the challenges. There's always something new. Some days it's harder than others to get that energy, but usually just... Um, just knowing that I have a task that needs to get done and just pulling it from wherever I can. Other people, um, situations, taking some time to be quiet, whatever I need to do to get that energy. I guess the next challenge, because I love to research how to make children successful with overcoming whatever it is the challenge they have. Fun facts, um, I have two children, grown. Both are um, caregivers, they love to take care of people. Um, I have a corgi, and everybody loves a corgi, and I have a rescue dog, so I'm an animal person. Um, I grew up in Newport News, so right down the street I'm a Tidewater girl, and um, I love to pick crabs. It's my, one of my favorite things. Um, my dog Bella, chocolate, coming to work each day and seeing my students thrive, my co-workers, and binge watching ridiculous shows. <laughs> so I was super excited to get in with WJCC, super excited to be here at Matthew Whaley. Um, love the school, love the people here, um, just love the vibe, the feel, and um, yeah, I just enjoy the support and the people that are here at WJCC. I love that it's all individuals. They have, I have to figure out, I have to unlock each one of them. So it's a new challenge all the time. It's never boring.